Okay, what's up, JL Nation Games? I'm back with a new video. And today, y'all, we finally got it. We finally got it. We got the PlayStation VR 2. Now, everybody know I'm a big fan of PlayStation. Like I had, I got, I already got the PlayStation VR 1, and it was a hot mess. Like, a hot mess. Which I would do some comparison, you know, between both of them. But for now, we're going to unbox this thing and set this up. PlayStation did a really good design on the box. Like, they did really good on the box, as y'all can see. And uh, you got the two move controllers, and you know, they say feel a new reel, cutting edge, enjoy 4K high definition, high dynamic range visuals, and a bigger view. You got the new sense controllers, like you can feel the stuff in your head and your controllers. And yeah, thrill a new world. So I'm not gonna talk too long. We're gonna get ready and get inside this unboxing video. And I will do some comparisons as well. So please hit the subscribe button for me and let's get inside the video. Okay, so first we're going to cut this open, y'all. We're going to cut this joker open. Uh-oh. Let's cut this open, y'all. Let's see what we got inside. Oop. We really didn't want to mess that. No, we don't want to mess that label and stuff. But it is what it is. Ooh. So we're just going to do an overview, y'all. I'm going to do an overview, so I'll be right back. Hold on, y'all. Look at this thing so tight in there. How's much to get this out? Jesus. Hold on, y'all. Oh. Now, this is no better. Okay. Okay. They had it just so packed in there, like, God. Okay, so as y'all can see first, they have inside this, they have the, um, I guess cords and stuff. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, I was right. So they got the cords. The uh, headset that we're gonna need, which I'm gonna talk about later, which is for the 3D audio, which I wouldn't use, and I would suggest you. Pamphlet. Also, the charger cable, I guess, for the the um the move controller. Okay. Okay. Here go the headset itself. These is the um move controllers. I've been wanting to feel these all my for a long time. Ooh, okay. Hey, PlayStation. Okay. Oh, okay. You just how you move. It's about time to include an analog stick on the controller itself. Y'all see that? Okay. Cause analog stick brings this out. Like I feel like it brings it out. Let's open that other one, y'all. Wow, this is so amazing. Like, I'm so glad they added, they added uh, like, I'm so glad they added some analog sticks. That's gonna be so much funner and better. And I guess they said to do this, to tighten it up, you go like that. Now you gotta do is just, wait, how they? There you go. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, I had out of frame. Let's do that again, y'all. Basically, you go like that, you have your hand in here, right? This go like that, and then you. Not like that. I'm not sure, but that's how you tighten it up. But yeah, these are so nice compared to the old move controllers. This is one about this is one for last year, y'all. Y'all see that? Cause you had like points, and then click. That was just so jacked up. PlayStation really did good. They elevated. They added the, the uh, analog sticks. It's what brings out this. Period. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna sit this to the side, y'all, and we're gonna um, get into the VR. But before we do that, y'all, y'all said they include the the buttons as well for the Smash the Kids Five. That's so amazing. That did good. Okay, so y'all gonna get ready for the big boy. 
the VR. So I will be showing y'all comparison too as well of my old VR one, which was a hot mess. What I like about this VR is that they said that um they said that it's on, it's on one cord. So you ain't got all the multiple cords no more. So ooh. This is nice. This nice. So look how that feel. Just just look at the camera. And yeah, this is like a um this right here is like a vent. I'm trying to get the focus, y'all. This is like a vent right here, y'all. So you want so your uh so the lenses won't get fouled up. That's amazing. Just look at that design. That's nice. And then those, this how the lens look on the inside. That's how it look. The lens looks so nice and clear. And of course, these lens move as y'all can see. Y'all see that the lens move. So I guess that's how you adjust your eyes. You know, to match your eyes and stuff. That's neat. And yeah, and that's that's the front. This right here is the camera. Y'all know how last year PlayStation had where well, they had like a physical camera. Not anymore. The cameras is on the headset, which is amazing. So now you ain't got to be facing no TV or anything, or you know, you ain't got to worry about anything being out of place because Sony made it where the cameras is built in. So that's amazing. This headset is really nice. Like I like it. I like the texture of it. It's really nice. And then, um, yeah, what is to add it? Oh, and this right here, this is how you adjust your headset. I got to learn how to do that. I think you just press the button, I believe. Yeah, you press the button and adjust it. So yeah, y'all, I'll be right back. Let's do some quick comparison. All right, you guys, so I'm back. So um, I'm with the comparison. So as y'all can see, this is my old PlayStation 1 VR. Um, and it, it kind of don't look, it don't look too much of a difference. The design, well, you can tell it upgrade, update the PlayStation 2 VR. But design pretty much look the same to me, just a little bit. But they did do some major improvements. Like, PlayStation VR came with a lot of cords. As y'all can see, it, it was just a hot mess. It, PlayStation VR fans, y'all know. It was a hot mess, but look at them cords. And it's still more. But the best thing about the PlayStation 2 VR is that it's only one cable. Which sucks because I wish it was wireless, but at least it's only one cable. I got this plug in and go. That's all you have to do. And then these controllers. Oh my goodness. I really can't. I love these controllers. Like, this is amazing. Like, I'm glad they included an analog stick as the only controller. Like, that's amazing. Where the old PlayStation, the old PlayStation VR. Oh, what are the headphones? Well, not headphones. I'm sorry, y'all. You had to like point. There's no move. There's no, there's no, um, Analog, so you had to point and you know, like, it was just a hot mess. But I'm glad that PlayStation VR, PlayStation, Sony took everything under consideration and they didn't make it worse, but they made it better. And also, the headset and cool haptics, like, so if you get a shot or something, they say that um, you better feel the vibration in it and also in a in the move controls as well. Sony did include these headsets um, as well, but to be honest, I wouldn't use these because last year they had some as well and they didn't sound too good. If you have a pair of 3D audio headsets, I got these. I would use this set because they're so much better. These, you could just keep them if you want to. I mean, you could test them out and see if you like it. But if not, they do include an area where you can store these at. Just like that. You see that? Put them in there like that. In a little hole. And yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So that's going to conclude this video, y'all. If y'all like this and y'all want to see me actually do some playthrough, make sure you like this video, comment, playthrough if you want to, and hit, and hit the subscribe button, and I will actually set it up and stuff for y'all, and I do like a gameplay. But I do want to show y'all about the PlayStation um, VR 2, how it look. Um, so I can wait to test this out, see how it look, and yeah, I think if you are the only PlayStation 1 VR, you should upgrade the PlayStation 2 because I think it's, it's worth it, it's worth it. It may be expensive, because it's like $600, but I will upgrade, it's worth it. So yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss none of my posts. And thank you all for viewing, and y'all have a great day. Peace out, love, and have a reason.